This is Twit. SETI at home is over. What? Now you can protein fold at home. Yeah, I tried that. My fans never turned off, so I decided not to do that. <laughs> I thought, well, yeah, I'm going to help search for the cure to the coronavirus, but it, the fans never turned off. Um, this is something that started back in the 90s. The Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, SETI at Home. The idea was there are lots of people with computers. You could put a screensaver or a background program on your computer, and it'll just steal a few cycles, and it'll look through the vast amounts of data collected by radio telescopes looking for intelligence signals in there. On Tuesday, researchers at the Berkeley SETI Research Center announced that's it, it's over, they're going to stop distributing SETI at home at the end of the month. Did they find anything? No. Mm. So far, uh, the, the researchers at Berkeley have only been able to analyze small portions of the SETI at home data uh, because they had too much. <laughs> There's too mm. Stop already. So it was a great success, I guess. Um, I used that on all my computers for I years. I did too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, the Arecibo Radio Telescope in Puerto Rico uh, collects terabytes of data all the time. At its launch... Uh, within months of launch, according to Wired, uh, more than 2.6 million people in 226 countries were volunteering their computers. 25 trillion calculations a second. More powerful than the best supercomputer in the world at the time. So do you do folding at home, Seth? No, uh, I did Bitcoin at home for a little bit. but <laughs> Did you make any money? No. I mean, you can make a couple pennies, but... You need to really get the rigs going if you want to do that seriously. <laughs> and it's a it's an energy waster, so yeah. not not my cup of tea. Where did I just saw? I think it was in the U.S. Uh, uh, a New York, I guess it's a New York power plant, Upper New York State, yes. New York. Mm -hmm. They they put the Bitcoin miners behind the paywall because they're generating their own electricity. So basically, there's no charge. And they say they average 5.5 Bitcoins every day. That's about 50 grand at current oh. prices. 7,000 miners powered. It's on site behind the meter, as they say. So, so as a New Yorker, this is upsetting to me for a couple of reasons. One, uh, this is a peaker plant, so it's not terribly efficient. Um, it exists because uh, of peak uh, usage in, in the summer months with it, when air conditioning comes on. So it only turns on theoretically when, when those months oh, happen. Now it's running all the time. Now it's running all the time, spewing carbon into the it's air. It's running on natural gas. So it's using right. up fossil fuels. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a horrible thing. And, you know, Cuomo, our governor, uh, has been talking about, you know, zero, uh, uh what is it? Net, yeah. yeah. Zero emissions. And to have this like, in inside his uh, state is kind of kind of a joke. So I'm I'm pretty upset about that. And I've actually asked uh, for Electric. I've asked them for comment on it. And but it's the weekend, so we won't hear about it till tomorrow. Seth, I think I remember reading that there's so much power consumed by Bitcoin mining, it offsets every single solar inst installation we've put in globally. That wouldn't surprise me. Uh, it's it's quite frustrating uh, knowing that pointlessly, and, pointlessly. We don't. Need well, yeah, I agree. Uh, it would be nice if they like if you could somehow game solar. Like instead of buying a a uh, you know electric using rig, you buy a solar panel and a inverter and get money by putting energy into the grid. Like that seems like. You know, maybe that's what I should be doing right now instead of, uh, you know, it's like, why not just make real like value instead of just sucking value out and then having this like game that everybody's playing and, and you know, I, might, I wonder how much how many how much power was wasted by SETI at home running for 20 years trying to find life in the universe. Yeah. Right. Not yeah, non-trivial amount. Not, absolutely. Mean, 
I had every computer in my house running that all of the time. I did. Um, yeah, I, I, I do have to say there's a huge contingent. You know, MIT is here in Massachusetts. We had a huge Bitcoin convention there just this, uh, this weekend. And, you know, I don't know. I, not all cryptocurrency is as you know, energy consumptive as Bitcoin itself is. And I, I I do sometimes get frustrated with some of the stereotypes that get thrown around with people that are into cryptocurrency because there are so many legitimate uses of blockchain. But, you know, this is obviously the case you're talking about, Seth. It's, it's indefensible. So yeah. turns out the coronavirus, the way it gets, <laughs> gets into you. Yeah, let's get back to the coronavirus. It's much more fun. Is a little. It has a little spike on the protein, right? Which comes up to the cell, jams it into the cell, and takes over the cell. So scientists are trying to design a protein that could bind to the coronavirus's spike, basically blunting it so that it can't interact with human cells. No infection. Would you like yep. to help? This is a site, Fold It. Solve puzzles for science. This isn't folding at home. This is an actual game that you could try. It's puzzle. It's a puzzle 1805B that you could try to design your little. Uh, <laughs> well, at, at least you're having fun while you're doing it. I have to say, I'm married to someone that works in this field, and the delivery mechanism of how you know, drugs and infections, viruses transmit, that's a huge part of it. It's not enough to just generate a cure. You've got to figure out how you're going to deliver it. The The basic science of this, I would guess, is is solid, but as far as getting to a human application from it, like this would be a very small piece of the puzzle. But what if, wouldn't it be cool if like somebody oh, yeah. fix, finds it, and then they can start <laughs> making it, right? Well, but how would you deliver it to mass people? How would you know it's well, not yeah, targeting yeah, yeah, yeah. a wider number of proteins? Okay, okay. You know there's, there other th Sorry. there's other things you have to solve, <laughs> yes. but yes. at least you could do this, right? How do you know it's not <laughs> toxic? I mean... <laughs> oh, that's true. It could kill you. Yeah. But it is available for free on Windows, Mac, and Linux, I just want to say. <laughs> 